Hello everyone and welcome back to Miu and Taxes with the Kingdom of Poland here in November of 1464 where we have 365 admin, 57 diplo, 124 military and we have 91 ducats so we're making 2.84, 12,571 manpower, 785 naval as we are trying to build up our naval materials, 32 corruption, 25 prestige, 44 power projection, positive 2 stability and 79 legitimacy. Our state reach is at 18%, stability is at 35%, bureaucratic corruption 64, loyalty is 35, burger loyalty 62, their power is 33, um, clergy loyalty is 71, their power is 40, nobility loyalty is 52, and their power is of course 95, which it did briefly climb up to 96%, so that, you, you know, it technically went down a little bit. We have lost a country modifier, which was a noble concession. Our public acknowledgement of the ancient liberties of the nobility has left the prestige and power of our state in question, resulting in a minor power vacuum. We are also at war with... What are we fighting with? Oh, we're fighting with Denmark, the Livonian Old Order, against Muscovy, Carvelia, and Tricasia for the Muscovite Succession War. Which our two armies are... Oh, we have taken Zaporizhia. I was going to say our two armies are over here, actually. Um, as we are trying to help, you know, Denmark out. We did also convert the people of Pedolia in our last episode, so that's good. Try to build up some more roads to help with the autonomy. Obviously, the nobles' power, you know, will play a role in that as well. Um... We did try to get rid of some of their courts, though. So, again, we have been trying to take steps to with downgrade, withdraw, whatever you want to say, the noble abilities power here in Poland, which is quite, quite huge, obviously. We think Voln has been converted. I, I, I don't know about that. We also got Hunger, I believe. Yes, as one of our allies, so... We have some, you know, we did lose Bohemia as an ally, but we now have France, Hungary, and Denmark, so not bad countries at all. Donetsk has occupied Poland, but we occupied Poland and ourselves, of course. I think the Livodians will get to Kursk before we will. They do, they're marching straight through. Um, they also make a claim on us while we're fighting that. We're fighting in war on the same side, but, you know. Pazimir, the 7th PS, is 26. Wadislaw PS, his son, is 7. Sofia Podatowski is 33, our queen. It says negative 6 war score. We have taken Kharkov now. We are going to send the army of Ostprussia back into Poland itself. Once we take Navrasa, we'll send our other army back as well. Because, I mean, we've taken Donetsk, Kharkov, and Zaporizhia. So, I mean, we've done a little bit. Not a great deal, but we have done a little bit to help out the Danes and the Livonians here against Muscovy. You know, so our allies can't say, hey, you didn't do anything. Um, they're all considered at medium. They used to be low. Not quite sure why they're now medium, but... Oh, no. Oh. Those are Mongol pretenders. Okay, I don't think they have anything to do with me. Let's go check out Voln. Still Oriental. Uh... 116.9 thousand, 61,000 Orientals, 53,000 Catholic. So Volka is now part of a patrimony, which we could make a state, but we're also about ready to get free tenancy, which will give us new ideas and also an imported, you know, administrative technology. So I don't think I'm going to do the state just yet. Because there we go. We have free tenancy. With changes to traditional economy, it became unprofitable for lords to enforce their traditional rights of enforced duty upon their tenants. 
Since traditional rights only applied as long as they were enforced, this led to a new class of free tenants, freeborn peasants who could and did apply for protection under royal laws. Alright, so we have scholastic ideas, which we haven't done yet. Um, we have leadership ideas, so we need to do so, which is a military. So we need to do something with bureaucracy or diplomat uh, ideas. And you know what? We are going to do trade ideas. Alright, so the first one there, merchants or trade centers plus 40% trade range plus 10%. Because we do want to eventually become more of a trading empire than necessarily just like a physical one. Uh, historically, there for a long time, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth was a huge exporter of grain to Europe and the world. And that's kind of what I think we're going to try to be, although we are working in building up our industrial centers somewhat at the same time. Speaking of that, uh, we're going to go over here to Krakow, where you can see we have over 21,500. We just... The game just refuses to let me get people. Uh, Oscar died, but thankfully he is right there in our territory. But Moldova wants a royal marriage. I mean... Okay. Not the worst thing in the world. Like, why... Okay, we, we need more. And I know we only have the one amenity, but again, that still gets us 30,000 people. We only have 21,000. We have 9,000 empty houses. I mean, I know that's not quite the way it works, but there's 10 more ducats of industrial... What the hell? Did we just put 100? Uh-oh. Yep, we just put 100 ducats into... Crack off. Well, ah, uh, boy. Um... That's going to be interesting. We've taken Navasil. I meant to do bed. Ah, that, that, that's going to be real interesting there. Wow. So we are going to try to take Kursk. We're apparently winning the war now, which is good. Um, we do need a new general... Christian Jablonski he definitely did not want to you know, train that army uh, make the king the general because our kings have been died at freakishly why are the Ottomans in my territory okay um, freakishly high rates we've had a lot of regencies recently so which we could have get technically but at least he is seven, so, you know, just eight years. So Gallia, we think we have converted. It says we're gaining legitimacy, but we went down from 79 to 77, so that I'm not sure if they really understand what that means to gain legitimacy. Because we're doing the opposite. Now we're back up to 78. Some Gallia, yep, it's still a bossy. Um, 87,000 people there. 32,000. We do have a whole lot of states we could create. Um, 48,000 Abasi, 32,000 Catholics. How much will it cost us to create states? Oh, well, nothing actually, but now we could core all provinces. So Gardenius, we have cored. We'll create a state here with Lithuania. We can core Slovakia, and then Navarhudik will take thirty points to actually core. Some Gallia, we will go back to try to convert to Catholicism. Yeah, that 100 ducats of investment into the industrial, that is going to be very interesting. Now, on the bright side, that might actually force, you know, a lot of people to come in, right? As opposed to doing the small 10 ducats every time. That might actually, you know, force people to come in and be like, hey, we're going to live in Krakow. Now, the downside of this, 
Um, that is an awful lot of money, one. Two, what is that going to do to our profitability and all of that? So, it, it, it's... What the hell happened to our ships? We had 700 at one time. Now we have 383. I felt like we had 700. I don't know. Maybe we did it. I think we did. Um... Maximum is 433. Alright, Noble Power's holding steady at 95%, so we definitely need to do something about that. Um, our state reach is up to 19%, so that's a positive. Uh, we need 30 admin points in order to get Navarhudic. We have won the Siege of Kursk. So we have kind of occupied this eastern area of um, Muscovy, and so we are going to... Why? We will... What's going on with our crew? Um, we will gain burger loyalty. We won't stop them this time. Why? Yeah, why were we going to march all the way up there? That didn't make any sense to me. Like, why, why were we going to do that? Um, we are, unfortunately, gaining corruption now, but... Or gaining a little bit more corruption than what we had, but we also gained a little bit of burger power, which, in theory, will help us combat the nobility's power. So that's one of the reasons why we did that. Um... Yeah, the, the profitability of our industries um, is definitely going to be interesting. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Oh, that's right, 21,000. That's right, never mind. I was confused for a second. I thought that was the total population of the province. I was like, wait, what happened now? So the army of Ostprussian will return to Ostprussian. We will core Navarhudek. I swear we are losing naval materials. It says we gain five a month. Now war exhaustion does make negative eight percent. But it still says we gain five and we use zero. And I, again, I know the war exhaustion piece. I get that. But then why would it tell me that I... I lose... I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Bohemia declared war on sex. See the... I'm a little confused as to how that's working. Um, okay, Ratney, we're still building our roads. Still building a road in Cholm. Bila, we still have mediocre communication despite building roads there. Our influences, 51 aristocrats, nobody else really has any major influence on us, unfortunately. Voln. Maybe after this next turn. Maybe after this next turn we'll finally get Voln converted to Catholicism. Right, because it's 59 to 55 favor of the Orientals, so it, 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 it's really, really close. It's, I know! Like, I don't know why people continue to ask if we're going to allow the, you know... Um...
You know what? We are we are going to. Okay, well we're gonna read this first. Swabia, no, you're not getting military access. The bishop's mistress. The new bishop of Norway, Sachs, is making waves among his parishioners, having just moved into his offices along with his mistress and children. This is upsetting pious Catholics in Norway, Sachs, who are openly wondering if such a wicked man can truly claim to speak with God's authority. In an attempt to keep priests from attempting to pass their benefices to their sons, the Catholic Church banned priests from marrying in 1059 AD. Rather than putting an end to the practice, it merely drove it underground. Many priests were uneducated peasants who found absence to be challenging, and it was common practice for parish priests to have found a housekeeper living with him and sometimes nephews who bore a striking resemblance to the priest himself. Such a disregard for their vows made many Catholics doubt the sanctity of the sacraments and the priests uh, priest who offered them. This was bad enough, but to have a bishop do the same was a slap in the face. It was usually ignored, though, since rulers often treated bishoprics as a convenient position for second-born sons. Clergy loyalty, 71%. We are going to remove him from his post. We'll lose five clergy loyalty. I didn't want to lose the missionary strength, right? As we are still very much obviously trying to convert people to Catholicism, losing the missionary strength seemed like a bad idea. Widespread tax relief has expired in Poland. We have discovered a spy network from Lithuania. Group it, what's military access? Of course, the answer is no. No, the answer is always no for you idiots. Um, Mizoviath? Mizovia. Wait, who is... Oh, Carbelia. Well, y you know what? Denmark, freaking end the war. We are going to do a harsh treatment on our, all of our rebels to try to allow our... Oh, dear God, there's 17,000 of them down there. What the hell is Denmark and the Livonian Order doing? I've got 14,000 men, but they've got 17,000 down in Zaporizhia. Like, are you guys... Stability apparently. Um, got it back by providing temporary tax relief. But serious, like seriously though. Thankfully, the Muscovite army. Oh dear God! But here comes the. Circassian army. Like, where are... Where's the Danish army? Oh, it's over here dealing with rebels. Okay, well, where's the Swedish army? It's up here. And there's the Livonian army. And we're the only morons... down here in the southeast. So we're going to try to catch up to the Circassians. Be 
before the Carvelians come in. Thankfully, we did. So here come the Carvelians. We are better than they are, and so we win that battle too. So we just took out the Carvelians and the Circassians. We'll go, we're going to go back down and try to retake Zaporizhia. You know, our corruption continues to go down. Bureaucratic corruption continues to go down. Bureaucratic reform has expired in Poland. I mean, I guess I could have tried to catch up to them, but... I just wanted to let my army try to get a chance to rebound as well. Yeah, we're not really gaining a whole lot of people. Despite our massive investment here. Um, I don't... Maybe we do have to build the second level of amenities to grow the city. Right? What would that even cost? We have retaken Zaporizhia. What would that even cost? Let's see. If I wanted to build the amenities... One hundred and eighty-five ducats. Let's do it. So we are trying to build up amenities level two here in Krakow. Not sure what happened to the Muscovite army. I don't see it anymore. It was up here somewhere, but. Again, this is where Denmark needs to say, look. Bohemia is now again at war with Rus. Sweden, Livonian, or oh, there they are. But look, I don't think that's my issue. There's twenty-three thousand of you. Go fight them. And here comes 9,000 more. Like, I, you know, or siege them down, do something. I took out the Carvelians and the Circassians. You guys could deal with the Muscovites. Right? We lost another country. Full grade provision has expired. Alright. So, once we get into 1468, I am going to do something a little bit crazy, baby. And what that is, is a. This old relative. It's expired and special commissions has expired. Right, and what that is is I'm going to try to discredit the, the nobility. I might disown another relative, or I probably can't afford to have a grand celebration, obviously. But, yeah, I really want this war to end, Denmark. I am tired. We have been indulgent Pedler and Kaliz, a traveling bug is passing through Kaliz, authorized by the church to stop at villages and towns to offer forgiveness of sins to people for a price. Catholics who sinned needed to go through a process to fight forgiveness. First, they had to repent the sin, then they had to confess it to a priest, and finally, they had to do penance, good works such as pilgrimages or fasting, in order to make up for every evil they had done. And indulgence was a way to bypass doing penance by getting the church to bless you with some of the grace of the undead saints. Unscrupulous indulgence peddlers went much further. 
promising that indulgence has meant that you didn't have to go to confession as they would allow the dead to escape purgatory, even though they could be used to forgive sins that people had not yet committed. Pious theologians were horrified at these claims, but credulous presents brought them up rapidly. Soon, a steady flow of gold passed into lands of such peddlers to be split between them. The archbishops would authorize it, and the Pope himself. We'll allow the practice. Like, I don't like the practice, but for right now, we're going to allow it. But yeah, let's go in here. And what would that cost? Alright, we're going to assess their power. Which is still slightly growing. Right? Um... Can we support the elite? We're going to promote the Metropolitan, so we'll have plus 20 influence, um, plus 10 burger loyalty, better relations. Like, Actually, we'll just provide tax relief. We'll lose 10 admin points, we'll get 12 relations, and we'll get more loyalty. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, but the autonomy goes... I don't like that. Like, I don't want to give you more autonomy. I mean, I like the fact that your power goes up, but... Because that should bring the nobility's power down. But I, I'm not... Monthly... So that's point six. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that. I, I don't like the idea of the, the economy going up. Otherwise, I would have loved that. But their power is already growing anyway. Um... Can we do something to support? Alright, so we're going to oppose populist reform. We'll lose 15 military mana. We'll get a bit more unrest, but... We'll also get 12 relations between the spiritualists and the state, and we'll get better loyalty. Donate to the church. So we, 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 we do have a lot more, obviously, unrest going on. And then the burgers will go in here. We'll give them tax relief to the burghers. The leaders of urbanized settlements across the realm are often a diverse, empowered standing. Yet it is the burghers that elevate the settlement in wealth and influence. They are the oligarchs of towns and cities, the money lenders and dominant traders who forge international connections and stretch entire continents. To win the favor of the burghers, supporting their efforts of commerce and industry is essential. Yet it is autonomy the burghers truly desires, freedom from obligations that more often than not tie the burghers to rigid and profitable ancient order, but we'll just give them tax relief. So the burgers and the church now positive a pity W. Um, We are going to
demote the greater nobility. Because we'll lose 25 loyalty. Right? Which would be 27%, which is not bad. Um, we'll lose 50% stability. Stability increase in enrolled 60%. But they'll lose 0.5% power for the next 10 years. So that's 5% power that they'll lose. Um, relations between the state and the aristocrats will be hurt, obviously. So we're going to do this. And then we're going to go in here and say, you know what? We're going to kind of counter that. Uh, we don't have the money to do that. But we will give them this special commission. Commissions, again, it will hurt our army, army tradition decay. We'll lose army tradition, but we'll gain seven and a half noble loyalty. It'll gain nine relations back. And we'll be able to do grand celebrations at some time, too. So our noble power should finally start going down once we get into 1468 here. And so that's important because you can say... Casimir's grew up with the nobles running out of control. His son is starting to get closer to becoming of age. So you could be like, hey, you know what? He is... Well... The Livonians are going to lose, I think, here, because they're sitting here in Muscovy. Oh, wait. Never mind. The Danes got there in time. Okay, good. And again, we do have an awful lot of you know, uprising. And again, the reactionary warlords are like, ah, we don't like you. Which, you know, I get. But... Oh my god, really? Stop! Um, sorry, but if we had the ducats, we could do a grand celebration. I don't think we could do that. Um, we could try to go in here and, uh, yeah, 72 ducats, disowning an unpopular relative. Yeah, we'll do that one. So again, we're back up to 42% nobility loyalty little bit better relations with the aristocrats and the state, which you can see, again, really takes out the sting of the reactionary warlord rebellion without, you know, really significantly giving them more power, which, of course, is also huge. So the nobility power should be going down now. For the first time, maybe ever, really. Again, just not anybody really going into crack off, despite our best attempts. Right? If we could ever get out of this war, we would... 100%. Somehow we lost a unit, so we're down to 13. We're at 14 out of 13. I'm not quite sure how that happened. But... Oh, God. Okay, so the Livonians are going to catch up to Circassians. Okay, good, good. And the war, Denmark. This war, I mean, I know it's over the Muscovite succession uh, and all that, but so we get longer barrels at 26. Um, the next infantry upgrades at 28, cavalry upgrades at 28, artillery upgrade is at 30. Uh, multiple mass give me better trade range, which I'm really not using at the moment, anyways. But, but we are going to trade an, ad, an admiral here. 
We'll call him Marius Bedinsky. He's two stars. We are going to protect trade in the Eastern Baltic. Uh, what? What? No, we're going to. Yeah. There we go. And I think this is really going to damage our ship materials because we got all four ships in one fleet now. But they do. But we do have the war galley. Um. So we'll gain 1.25 ducats monthly by protecting trade in the Eastern Baltic. We lose nine naval materials a month. Well, that is awful. Um, we are making 5.4 ducats a month. That is amazing. So, you know, we really need to figure out ways of increasing our naval power. Um, because that's freaking amazing. I, we are gonna move the army to the China, and then we'll and then we'll drill it, and then we'll drill it, right? I just don't want it out of border, just in case you know somebody shows up and attacks them while they're training. Uh, we're in like Ratne. Nope, still building. Okay. Um. We will send a missionary back to Semgalia. Bohemia declares another war. Bohemia loves declaring war. Um, apparently we... Dear God. Zaporizhia. Um, Volm is still not converted. Maybe after this one. Seriously. Like, spend the nine, get rid of the Lithuanians a little bit. All I'm going to say is the nobility power damn well better be going down. Thank you. So after this year, it should be down to 94%, which is going to be the lowest it's been. Oh, God. Nope, that's Lithuania. Okay. I thought that was Muscovy for a second. Oh, they've got a three-star boy. Oh, that's Kiram, not Circassia. Okay. So, one of the main reasons we're trying to get the nobles powered out is because it'll allow us to do more military reforms, also do the signorial courts, which is one of the biggest, you know, issues with noble power. It's 14,000 on 4,000. You're not taking Zaporizhia, a decade of marriage. When Sophia married into the royal house of Pias, there's those who are skeptical towards her origin. She was a young woman from Lisnicha. And nobody, the eyes of Betty, suddenly invited to rule the great nation of Poland. However, time flies. It has now been over ten years since the union took place. While it's not all who adore the Queen Creola, most of country specters were of their own. It is very unlikely that the wedding anniversary of the elevated couple would have gone by a notice. At Casimir the seventh, that is, Sophia humbly accept all congratulatory letters, as well as gifts of varied splendor brought to them. So we actually will gain five more noble loyalty and five prestige. I like that very much. Thank you. So this is the first time in a long time that the king will almost, if not completely, live until his heir is ready to take over. We had two or three straight times where, you know, we had... Uh, long, long regencies. So we will send this army up to Ostprussian. I think the war is finally almost over. Kartvelia is getting wrecked. Muscovy's been wrecked. Again, you know, another 1% war score. We stack right that army. We're going to go back to Krakow. 
Danzig. Right, again, we're losing nine ships a month. Negative 20% shipping industry there. No shipping industry there. None there. Apparently, we don't have shipping industry anywhere. Negative 19% there. Textiles, some Gallia. Textiles. Like Danzig, I could have sworn at one time had a shipping place. Overall, we're at negative 7.8%. Um, we are at a January 1469. Again, the noble power should go down to 94%, which doesn't sound great, but when it was 96, you know, it's a decrease, you know, and we're going the right direction finally. Um, we'll take it. We are going to try to. open a shipping industry, which I don't know why it went away, but it did. Noble power, 94%. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, that's sad that I got excited about 94% noble power, but it's better than it used to be, so. Leave me alone. Um, can we go near to the direct the bureaucracy? We can... We'll lose 25 military beta, 10% progress towards stability. Oh my god, who? Seriously. They, they, I mean, I'll give them this. They're very, very persistent. They're very annoying, but they're very persistent. And trying to take Zaporizhia. Like, I don't know how many times I've defeated them down there and wrecked multiple multiple armies, but they keep trying. And I'll give them credit. They you know, they they refuse to give up. You know, I appreciate their tenacity. It's just like seriously, at this point, realize the fact that you're not gonna win and just gracefully bow out. Right? Um Grid to the 86 ducats. Okay. Now, we're going to hold the grand celebrations to improve our stability. Uh, get the nobles to like us a little bit better. Get their pity of us to get a little bit better. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to go here, direct the bureaucracy, fight corruption, recall corrupt officials, negative point two yearly provincial corruption. Um, immediately recall officials known to be corrupt across the realm, regardless of position, just de destabilizing the bureaucracy, yet cleaning up many of the worst actors in our ranks. You know, the Parbellians are continuing to try to pour men into the province, but... It really shouldn't matter. We outnumber them 7,000 to 4. We have the better general. I think we have the better military technology. And hopefully, after this battle of Zaporizhia, um, we will finally be able to, right, just appoint, you know, 7, you know, percent. There were, it was a Sarkasian army that was apparently going to do something. I don't know what they were going to do, but we defeat them again. 91% war score now. 5.3 ducats monthly, which is easily the most we've ever had. They very briefly were... Oh, the Circassians are doing something. Okay. Bohemia is now at war with Madenburg. Where'd they go? Did they, they just, like, vanished. Oh, wait, there they are. Um.
like I just I, I'm very very tired of the war and you know being at war and obviously we have 13.9 percent war exhaustion which is just not good obviously I don't know you know here in Donetsk um, yeah the Kartvelians are like nope nope we're gonna leave Poles are not going to get us this time. Hey, we finally ended the war. Carvelli accepted peace with Denmark. Poland gains 20.4 prestige. So the war is finally over. Only took eight years. Um, Lithuania will definitely come back to being our rival. We know we have an exiled navy. We will try to build up a spy network there. We looted 731.3 ducats. 91 went into the treasury. 407 went to the... We spent 407. We lost 12,400 men. Well... If 91 ducats went into the treasury, why do we only have 61 ducats? But anyways. Um, I think Voln might actually be Catholic this time. I'm not sure about that, but I think they might be. No, Brunswick, I don't want to give you military access. They are! Voln is Catholic! Look at that! 59 to 56. I mean, not by much, but, you know, hey. Uh, we can do trade ideas. Merchants are like children, always asking for the authority to intercede in their petty disputes. Thankfully, the rewards for establishing rules regarding these Catholics are outweigh the headaches of having to read them. Merchants for trade centers plus 40%, trade range plus 10%. What would be our technology? Trade range plus 50. You know what? We will do that. We'll do this idea. We'll do trade law. Safe routes will give us better ship trade power. Wait, what? It said we could get black books, but we're not at level 26. Or block books, not black books, sorry. Yeah, we're not we're not at level 26. So why... I mean, well, we are, like, diplomatic? No, no, we're not. We're only at 25. So yeah, why... Hmm. I'm not quite sure why it's telling me I could do that. Because we're at 25 here. We're not even at 25 military... 26 militarily. And then we're at 22. So I, I don't understand that one but okay um we will drill up both of our armies our war exhaustion is slowly starting to go down which is good danzig do we have our shipping industry yet um yes negative 100 percent profitability that's what we like to see um, priests are preaching heresy. Rumors had reached us a civil priest in Volodymyr, who had been preaching heresy, which is clearly against her one true faith. The local populace seems to follow their words, something which may become troublesome in the future. Uh, we'll crack down on it. We will send a missionary to Ostro, which is Oriental. 138 to, okay that's gonna take a long time um but yeah we are into 1470 um you know doing reasonably well our our, our son is almost of age three years away so we're Brandenburg is declared war on Rupin 
um, you know, we're making money, you know, with the trade and some of our increased, you know, influence. Um, we're trying to build up to a level two city in Krakow. As we're inching closer to 22,000 people. We have built a second road there. We've built a second road there. I mean, it's not really helping the economy too much, but hopefully, again, the, the decline of noble power hopefully will help. We can get longer barrels, military technology 26. Longer arquebus barrels made of handheld guns more accurate, which meant they were much deadlier. Large numbers were still needed to inflict casualties on the enemy, though. Artillery fire plus 0.10, infantry fire plus 0.15, reduced morale negative 5%. So, not a bad episode, right? We, we, we fought the war. We won the war. Muscovy. Ooh. They now have a, pers have a personal union with Denmark. I mean, I don't really know what I... I don't know that there's much I can still do to try to promote stability at this point. Um, Anti-corruption will go until 1479. Recalled officials will go to 1474. Um, disown... Okay, that doesn't have anything to do with that. So by the end of this year, we'll be able to do full grade provision. Widespread tax relief will end in 1470 as well. That, you know, so we got about seven years for a lot of the negative modifiers to, to end, but. Um, yeah, that's where we're going to end today's episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you're all doing well. And we will be back in the future where. Um. Yeah, we're going to have to try to fight a way to get more naval materials. Um, we are focusing here heavily on, you, you know, the coastline. I don't know if that's necessarily, you know, a requirement or not. But I just, it made the most sense to me. Um... Let's see where our 100 ducats of investment here in Krakow. Not a 39.3. Um, so we've spent two-thirds of it so far. Um, throughput's not terrible. Y you know, overall, negative 30% houseware, negative 19.5% of processed materials. Widespread tax relief has ended in Poland. Well, we might get to 1471, right? Because we're in October. Um, and technically... Technically, I think. Although, no, it won't, because somehow it's gone down to 0.43, even though it's supposed to be at 0.5 for 10 years. Um, it'll have be, uh, 1472 will be when we'll actually have the noble power get down to 93%. Sangali is now Catholic. So, I mean, again, you know, we're doing a decent job. Full grain provision gets us back up to positive two stability. Tax relief gets us up to 60% stability, so we should stay at positive two, I think. I'm not positive about that, but I believe that's the case. As we are at 1471, and you know, a little bit longer of an episode, but I am really loving the save, uh, even though I'm sure I'm making plenty of mistakes still, but, uh, but I am very much loving the save. Um... Might have to do something with the Lithuanian separatists there. Uh, 
uh, still losing a little bit of corruption. You know, that's good. Bureaucratic corruption's down to 49%. I mean, our corruption numbers are really actually pretty darn good, to be honest. Um, still can't get above 22,000 people. It just won't happen. Um... <laughs> Back up to five ducats monthly, which is nice. We're, we're, we're just bleeding ships. Just bleeding ships out, right? Um, but, you know, we'll, 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 we'll try to work on that. And... For the first time in a long time, we will actually have a direct I mean I don't want to jinx it but we should have a direct passage from king to prince or king to heir whatever you want to call it we need 32 to fabricate a claim so what are we at now 31 um, the last oh okay the last jousting tournament we could feel it feel it in the wind sooner equestrian elite will be nothing more than a dream remembered as the chivalrous tradition dies out before the onslaught of modernity the world is changing, but for now, for one last time, let the Knights of Poland ride. <clears throat> um, until 1481, we get more out of the armies, plus 5%, army tradition, plus 0.5, prestige, plus 0.25. Sure, like, uh, I'll lose 50 ducats, which is blood not super duper, but... Um, Right, because of the history of the winged hussars, right? They, it makes sense to do that. So we do have a claim on Pelesi now with Lithuania. Uh, Zidomir, Bratslav, again, we do, are going to want to try to take Kiev at some point. Navarhudek. God, that's going to take forever. Um. But we'll go ahead and get started on it. Uh, obviously, again, in Oster, we're not anywhere close to being... Uh, ready to convert them to Catholicism yet, but... Right, but it is 138, 110 to 24. We'll wait till July just so that, you know, the missionary stats kind of trick back over. Um... Losing five monthly. Obviously, once we lose all of our naval supplies, we'll have to recall our ships and then... Well, and then, um... We'll lose some money from that, but... Can we... How many favors do we have with the Danes? Okay, we got a hundred of those. So yeah, things are going pretty well. We're almost to 20%. I believe... We can then do some of these reforms with the bureaucrats because we'll be at 20% state reach. So that's amazing. Like, that we're, we're, we're almost there. We're not quite there, but we are almost there. And... I don't think I've ever gotten to this point of the game. You know, zoom it out a little bit. Very happy with King with Poland. We are going to expand a little bit. Pelesi, Zidabir, Bratslav, we want to take. Um, Kiev, we want to take. Then maybe even, you know, again, get down here into the Gulf of Odessa. You know, have, you know, the southeastern port as well. 
And then, like I said, I think at that point, maybe we will... I don't think we'll be able to really make it overseas and, you know, have overseas colonies, but I guess you never know. But at that point, I think in terms of Europe, a lot of our expansion will be done. We'll probably push back a little bit, maybe to, like, Minsk, right? I think Vilnius, Minsk, you know, kind of go here and then on down. And that'll probably be the Kingdom of Poland. But anyway, thank you, everybody, for watching. That is where we will end today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. I'll try to continue to do better and better with things in the future. And I will talk to you all later.